Hey guys, Mohammed here. So, I was just paid and requested to review the Vieck 6x4 tablets. This is going to be my first time I'm ever reviewing a tablet, so please bear with me if I'm a little bit sloppy. Now, on the, on the record, I haven't used a regular drawing tablet for quite some time. The tablet I usually prefer to draw on is the Wacom Cintiq tablet, in which I get to draw on a screen. I usually prefer to draw where I can actually see the, where I can see the canvas I'm drawing on. Although I've been told that there are benefits to using a regular drawing tablet. You can do simple, quick sketches and build on them later. And this is the first time I've I've ever heard of this brand yet. So, t hey guys, Mohammed here. So, I was just paid and requested to review the Vieck 6x4 tablets. This is going to be my first time I'm ever reviewing a tablet, so please bear with me if I'm a little bit sloppy. Now, on the, on the record, I haven't used a regular drawing tablet for quite some time. The tablet I usually prefer to draw on is the Wacom Cintiq tablet, in which I get to draw on a screen. I usually prefer to draw where I can actually see the, where I can see the canvas I'm drawing on. Although I've been told that there are benefits to using a regular drawing tablet. You can do simple, quick sketches and build on them later. And this is the first time I've I've ever heard of this brand Vieck. So today I'm gonna be trying it out and see whether it's worth holding up on an even table. And what I've been doing with the shape recently. Although I do like how it's turning out so far. I mean, it, it, there is the, a, still a sense of a character, and you can, can still there's still a sense of control for the character you want to draw. Although I did go a little bit off, as you can see here. Then again, it's been years since I last drew on a regular tablet, and maybe I forgot to adjust the sensitivity of the pen I've been working on. But as is, I will admit, it's not looking too bad. Again, I uh, the, the, the point of destination of where I want my pen to go and how much I can cover is still off, but it's again, it's not too bad. Maybe it, it works better for a smaller monitor, specifically for a laptop, since it is a pretty small, a pretty small tablet. Then again, it's also a, from a completely different company. But again, it's not turning out uh, too bad. There is still some control that you can gain, even if the line is jittery. Paint brushes are are, are all right. Again, like, I haven't uh, used Krita in a while uh, myself, but again, I'm, I'm still wa I still want to work with this. Moving on to backgrounds, let's see how well I can draw foliage. Again, it works for simple shapes, uh, quick sketches, qu I mean quick lines. Not looking too bad for, for this tree. Then again, I'm not really good with trees in general. Now let's move on to some animals. In this case, I'm gonna be drawing, I'm gonna be drawing a buck or a buck and a half. Ah, why bit about around the bush? I'm drawing a deer. Again, there is some uh, hesitation with the control, but that could also be because again, I haven't drawn in a while uh, on a regular tablet, but it's not looking too bad. A little off, but again, it's definitely not too bad. I do apologize, by the way, for the quality of my video. I'm recording on my phone. Again, first time reviewing a tablet, and I have no professional expertise on the matter, so... If, so, yeah, there's definitely some flashy, gittery imagery or resolution from, from the video, and I do apologize. And again, 
there is some jitter and a lack of coordination of where exactly I want my line to go. So, that's one of the reasons why I prefer drawing on a Cintiq or a similar tablet where I can draw on the screen. But, it, again, it's, it's not too bad. It, it, it definitely has potential here. Moving on to brushes, let's see where I can, where I can go from here. Water, oh, watercolor is working good. Okay, now let's see how well I can paint an animal. In this case, I'm going to be painting an elephant. And I'm going to see how well it turns out with the brush with this new tablet and pen here. It's, it's definitely visibly recognizable as an elephant, I'll give it that. And the mesh of the brush isn't too bad, like I said. Although if you do try to use like a different color, like white, then again, I'm still sort of new to Krita, and this is a new tablet, but I will admit it's not looking too shabby, if I do say so myself. Although, the tusk... Whoops! <laughs> yeah, again, it's still jittery on my end. But it's not looking too bad. I've drawn better elephants, but it's not too bad. Okay guys, so that's it. That's the VX 6x4 tablet. Now, from my expertise, it probably might work better for a smaller computer, specifically a laptop as opposed to a, a monitor. Again, I'm more of a Cintiq kind of guy. But as far as smaller tablets go, it's actually not too bad. It's small, it's quick, it's simple. I think this may be an alright tablet for smaller computers, specifically for beginners. So I think it's an okay first step. Later.